if you create a room on Clubhouse or if you're an invited co-host and you're the first person to start the room, you can download the replay of it, assuming that replays were turned on. The problem is that it's not intuitive exactly how to get the file because Clubhouse is going to serve you a link to the file and not the actual file. So I'm going to show you how to do it. First, you're going to click on the three little dots in the right corner, and you'll see an option for download full audio. So tap that, and it tells you the audio file will be accessible for one hour with this link. Again, you're going to get a link to the file, not the actual file. So the goal is to show what that link looks like and be able to click on it to get the file, and that's where we're going from here. So open the link, and you will get a list of options of where to put it. Now, you see at the top, it shows the name, but that is not the MP4. That is the link to get the MP4. And we normally would think, well, we'll just save it to our files. But when we try to save it to our files, you can see it says at the top, item will be saved to the folder you designated, but it's showing it's a text file, not an MP4 and not an, a URL, which is what you're looking for. So don't save it to files. Don't save it to Dropbox. Instead, you want to choose one of these other options. If you're on an Apple computer, you can just airdrop it from your phone to your computer, and it will put it in your downloads, and you can save it wherever you would normally save files. The easiest option for everyone is to just send it to yourself in email. And you see it puts this whole big long thing in here. That is the, the actual name of the link. Email that to yourself. And then the easiest thing then is to call up that email on your computer and click the link and it will download on your computer. I dragged the file out of my downloads into a new window and you can see it does show it's an audio file and it's name ends in MP4. If you call up the email on your phone, it's a little more complicated. Here's the email I sent myself on my phone, and it still has the very long URL there. When I tap the URL, I'm prompted, do you want to download the MP4 file? Yes, at last, that's exactly what I want to do. So I tap download. And it does download my file, but it's not evident where it is. You see in the top left corner, there's a little down arrow, and I have to actually tap that to get to my download screen. So now that I have these options, I'll tap Downloads again, and it shows me the file name. So I tap that. And this is now my actual audio file. But I still have more steps to get this file in some place that I can actually do something with it. So I'll go to the share icon in the bottom left corner. And at this point, I'm presented with the same set of options that I was originally. This is how you share files all the time. It's the same interface. This time, I actually can save my file to files or Dropbox because I do have an actual file here now. So this time I'm going to put it in Dropbox. I had previously created a folder called Clubhouse so that I could put all these recordings in the same place. So I'm going to save this audio file. And you see it is, in fact, an audio file this time and not a text file. I'm going to save it to Dropbox. And then I can verify that it is in Dropbox. And I can then share that file with anyone that I want to. I hope this video helps you liberate your Clubhouse audio from the app and be able to repurpose it any way you want to. I'm Karen Cummins, and I hope you're living the life of your dreams.